What Really Happened to George Maharis, star in series Route 66. George Maharis was born on September 1, 1928, in Astoria, New York as one of seven children. His immigrant father was a restaurateur. George expressed an early interest in singing and initially pursued it as a career, but extensive overuse and improper vocal lessons stripped his chords and he subsequently veered towards an acting career. Maharis trained at the Neighborhood Playhouse with Sanford Meissner and the Actors Studio with Lee Strasberg. The method actor found roles on dramatic TV, including a few episodes of The Naked City, and secured an early name for himself on the late 1950s off-Broadway scene, especially with his performances in Gene Jennett's Death Watch and Edward Albee's Zoo Story. Producer Otto Preminger discovered George for film, offering the actor a choice of five small roles for his upcoming film Exodus Chapter 1960. George chose the role of an underground freedom fighter. One of the episodes George did on the police drama The Naked City series wound up being a roundabout pilot for the Buddy Adventure series that would earn him household fame. With the arrival of the series Route 66-1960, the actor earned intense TV stardom and a major cult following as a Brando-esque, streetwise drifter named Buzz Murdoch. During its peak, the star parlayed his TV fame into a recording career with Epic Records, producing six albums in the process and peaking with the single Teach Me Tonight. During the middle of the series' third season peak, Maharis abruptly left the series with a number of reasons cited. Often quoted as that the virile, seductive image of a fast-rising star apparently got to George and he proved increasingly troublesome as he grew in stature. Mahari's back to pursuing films, the brash and confident actor, with his health scare over, aggressively stardom with a number of leads but the duds he found himself in quick, before it melts 1964 Sylvia 1965, A Covenant with Death 1967, The Happening 1967, and The Desperados 1969 Prime among his list of disasters hampered his chances. The best of the lot was the suspense drama. The Satan Bug 1965, but it lacked box office appeal and disappeared quickly. Returning to TV in the 70s, George returned to series TV with the short-lived The Most Deadly Game 1970 co-starring fellow criminologists Ralph Bellamy and Yvette Mimieu. The decade also included a spat of TV movies including the more notable The Monk 1969 and Rich Man, Poor Man 1976. In between, he appeared in Las Vegas nightclubs and summer stock and was one of the first celebrities to pose for a nude centerfold in Playgirl 1973. His last years brought about the occasional film, most notably as the resurrected warlock in The Sword and the Sorcerer 1982 and an appearance in the horror thriller Doppelganger 1993. With his bad boy glory days behind him, Mahari's TV career ended rather routinely with guest parts on such popular but unchallenging shows such as Fantasy Island and Murder, she wrote. Mahari's later years were spent focusing on impressionistic painting. He has been fully retired since the early 1990s. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of George Mahari's.